it because. Yeah. Well, you know, we, we, we're seeing it's a so lot of that. Look at her. Brian so and the most. One year, we, we saw a lot of uh, our sargasm. It was a invasive oh. like al algae, and mm -hmm. uh, we haven't seen that this year. But uh, interesting. It changes what year to year. Yeah, what was that? Part this is a big um, sponge. Oh. So this is our most primitive animal. In fact, we're really stretching it by even calling this an animal. It's in intermediate in between between single-celled organisms and multicellular. That's animals. right. So it's like our first step towards being multicellular, yeah. uh, heterotrophic, of course, like us. They're consumers, and they live in colonies of single cells. Right. We call them animals because they do have a larval phase where they swim around. But then when they mature, they anchor and they become what we call sessile. So they stay in one place. They, they are not photosynthetic, which also puts them in the animal category. They can uh, reproduce asexually by mitosis, right? Just by cloning themselves. Uh, I'm not sure if they reproduce sexually. Uh, well... Yes, they do. I would and like to say produce, yes. They, what happens is some of the individual cells become specialized. Become gametes, yes. right? Sperm yeah. and egg cells. Right. And so that's, again, where we're starting to get closer to being yeah. an animal. Yeah. Now, I was going to say with bryozoans, they're probably the most common organisms which we human beings are the least familiar with. Is that one, too? Here's another they, sponge. Yeah. Could I clean my kitchen with that? You probably could. Yeah. We don't usually use natural sponges, do we? We we actually uh, usually use artificial ones. Yeah. But rhizomes are these colonial creatures. They're superficially like coral. They're not close related. They're they're actually more complicated. Uh, corals. This, whoops. <laughs> Oh. Sorry, guy. I'm trying to make room. You'll be okay, I promise. You know, besides the sponges, the corals are the least complex animals. They have just two cell layers. Bryozoans have three cell layers like us. Diploblasts versus triploblasts. There's one here and there's one there. That's why I would rather use the pliers, but see. I really don't want to. <laughs> I really don't yeah. want to. I won't be useful for the rest of the day if I do. You're just chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah, nobody brought any rubber gloves? <laughs> I think they would Unless go through were, rubber. Yeah, they, they go rubber through gloves, rubber. They, they might even go through rubber. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I am certainly not going to test it. Yeah. And actually, their barbs are like our fingernails. They, if they yeah. lose them or they break off, they regrow them, just like a fingernail. These guys I will poke you too. They won't the inject the um, same neurotoxins, but they'll they'll get you. All right, you guys have a little more space. Is that a skate? Are those skates the? What, what do you call Those them? are rays, rays yeah. Okay. They're little round rays. And we'll pull them out, we'll measure them, and we'll be able to see them um, more closely when we get back to the dock. <laughs>